We're joined here at Sport Tech by Simon Frost from AWS Elemental. Um, you are taking part in the OTT session this afternoon. Um, what are some of the key points that you'll be looking to try and raise and discuss there? It's great to be part of this panel. I think we're going to really focus on sports rights holders and the title of the panel is called Going It Alone. And we're seeing that in terms of rights holders for every type of different sports, looking at leveraging those brands and keeping and building on that direct relationship with the consumers. So I think we're going to talk about um, you know, this traditional model of selling through rights with sports broadcasters. We're going to look at the technology enablers for how those types of rights holders can build platforms themselves. And I think we'll be looking at the customer examples of pros and cons between those two. Uh, to what extent do you think we are now seeing, beginning to see the emergence of um, a kind of a coherent approach to OTT? Or are we still in quite an early stage of, of growth and adoption with a, you know, with a long way to go? How would you sort of characterize the current state of progress? I think from an entertainment perspective, OTT is here and very well established. You only have to look at the subscriber numbers for Netflix and for Amazon Prime Video, for example. I think in a sports context, it's still quite early days. The majority of rights are still sold through very successful broadcast platforms. And those broadcasters themselves are delivering this content OTT and are enriching that content using the powers of the cloud and the abilities to deliver video online. So I think we're seeing innovation already. I think where we're really seeing some new experimentation is the rights holders themselves building their own OTT platforms and reaching consumers directly. We've seen a little bit of that with Formula One, and I think we're seeing that in uh, sports broadcasters as well, in football, for example. And I know that uh, machine learning is another sort of uh, focus for you at the moment, and uh, you've obviously had a sort of a notable success with this uh, app that you developed for Sky, uh, Sky's coverage of the Royal Wedding. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely, yeah. So it was really great to be part of uh, Sky News' innovative broadcast, covering the Royal Wedding. Um, and really what they were doing is trying to enhance the traditional broadcast environment with using automated recognition of celebrities as they came into the church. So they were using a tool called Amazon Recognition, which is a machine learning tool. They were using cloud services to deliver that video. Um, and they're also working with some of our partners, AWS partners, Gray Meta and UI Centric, to build all of this up and have an editorial process flow as well so that the team could check what the T, uh, machine learning tool was recognizing in terms of the different celebrities and authorizing those to go to air. So it was a really great experience and you could see the tagging of the names and you could see bios as well of what each of the individuals as they arrive. And it has many use cases, I think, beyond uh, you know, a celebrity example. Yeah, I mean, what do you think might be the potential applications in sport? Can you give us a few ideas of that? Well, machine learning is a very flexible, powerful tool. We've got some great demos we show, actually, of uh, in sports examples where a um, simple example is tracking all of the players on a pitch because we can do recognition of each of the players. So we can tag and recognize those players. Uh, so we can do automated analysis of the scenes. We can analyze the scoreboard automatically, so when we see the, the scoreboard change, we can actually clip and automatically record sequences of video because we know there will have been a goal or something happened at that point. So I think there's many use cases for where you can use these tools to enhance a broadcast and provide fans with a deeper enrichment. There's an extremely busy summer of sport coming up. Uh, what's the event that you're most looking forward to yourself? I think the uh, World Cup is almost upon us, and I think it's, uh, it's the time when even people like me, which is probably not the biggest soccer fan in the world, really like to get behind our team and see how we do. So I think, um, and it also challenges broadcasters to deliver amazing experiences, something we did with BT Sport around delivering 4K. So they were one of the first broadcasters to do 4K sport, and recently also doing high dynamic range to mobile, so uh, with live sports as well. So I think these massive events really challenge broadcasters, and we love doing that. Simon, thanks very much for joining us, and I hope you have a great day here at Sport Tech. Thank you.